All right, here's some big breaking news coming in after a two-year-long standoff. Massive breakthrough at the line of action control. Disengagement begins in Gogra Hot Spit. MEA says total disengagement by the 12th of September. India-China agreed to take talks forward. The Ministry of External Affairs statement says, and I quote, It has been agreed that all temporary structures and others allied infrastructure created in the area by both sides will be dismantled and mutually verified. The landforms in the area will be restored to pre-standoff period by both sides. Let me cut across to Gaurav Savan closing tracking these developments. Gaurav, uh, of course, comes as a big relief here and big news. Uh, disengagement begins in Gogra Hot Springs after much of those clashes. Uh, the line of actual control will see some kind of resolve in, in uh, days to come. MEA confirms September 12th, complete disengagement could take place. Give us a little more on the real intentions of China. Is this finally a done deal? So both um, India and China are to disengage from Petrol Point 15 at Gogra and Hot Spring. And uh, this was one of the last uh, friction points from the April-May 2020 friction uh, points that, uh, that, that had emerged uh, first on the north bank of Pengong, so where China was preventing Indian troops uh, from patrolling up to finger 8. They were trying to stop us at finger 4, uh, wanting to restrict us to finger 2. Uh, India did a QPQ operation, quid pro quo operation on the south bank of Pengong, so occupying, uh, you know, the Kailash uh, ranges, following which disengagement started, but that was restricted uh, to some friction points. Um, and then you recall there was the friction that had taken place at Galwan in which, um, led by Colonel Santosh Babu, 20 Indian Braves made the supreme sacrifice of their lives. Um, and according to the Russian wire agency TASS, more than 40 Chinese soldiers were killed, though China officially confirms only the deaths of five, including the commanding officer of the PLA battalion in that area. Now, China was extremely reluctant to uh, disengage from PP-15, but an announcement has now been made after the 16th round of core commander talks that China and India are to mutually disengage. Uh, again, we do not know what would be the extent of the disengagement because this is only disengagement so that they are not in an eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball confrontation. Perhaps there will be a buffer zone. We do not know how much would this buffer zone be there and we do not know whether this would lead to de-escalation and ultimate de-induction. But what the government has said so far is India and China to complete the disengagement by September 12th and move forward to restore peace and tranquility. Remember, Nabila, External Affairs Minister Dr. Jay Shankar had made it very clear that unless there is peace and tranquility at the borders, India-China relationship cannot move forward. What has also been decided is all temporary structures and other allied infrastructure created in the area by both sides to be dismantled and be mutually verified. It's also been decided that landform to be restored to pre-standoff uh, period by both sides. So whether bunkers had been made or gun positions had been carved out or artillery positions or armor positions, all of them have to be restored to pre-April 2020 situation. Yeah. That's the effort. But this, I must tell you, is only this standoff, Depsang and Demchok, that predates the April-May 2020, we are told, still remain a sticking point between the two countries. You know, Gaurav, uh, give us a sense that before 2020, what kind of uh, progress China had along the line of actual control? Was there any permanent structures? Uh, anything that came up that, that, uh, that, of course, worried India and its security at that point? And have they really committed to withdraw by the 12th of September? That's just barely another two days that they'd have to completely vacate. Can so we believe this, them? This mutual disengagement is only from Petrol Point 15, uh, PP 15, that has to happen by the 12th of September, has to be mutually verified. This also come in the, comes in the light of a major diplomatic, uh, uh, you know, a step that, that could well be taken where Prime Minister Narendra Modi and China's President Xi Jinping, they would be in Samarkand in Uzbekistan for the Shanghai Cooperation Organization meeting, the SCO summit. And if there is a standoff, if there is tension between the two countries, and do remember, India has repeatedly said 
whether it's the external affairs minister, the defense minister, or even the prime minister, the indication has been India-China relationship cannot move forward if there is if peace and tranquility is not maintained at the LAC. So India, you know, what China wants is let there be tension at the LAC, but let the economic relationship continue. Let's move forward on other lines. And India says no peace and tranquility at the LAC is basic for the relationship to move forward. So is this a tactical step back by China? Because you remember India today has been reporting very extensively the level of Chinese uh, infrastructure projects that are coming up all along um, in eastern Ladakh, whether right. it's that bridge that's coming up on Pengong So or their new airfields or their missile silos um, or their additional hospitals, additional roads that are coming up both in Tibet and in Xinjiang. So all of that remain a cause for grave concern for India. But this disengagement is restricted to PP15. All right. Gaurav, we're really looking forward to this commitment by China. Of course, let's hope they live up to their word. Thank you very much for joining us on that. Two years after the standoff, we're going to see a withdrawal. At least the MEA has confirmed that there will be complete withdrawal from the line of actual control.